Today I'm going to show you a non-Newtonian fluid, uh, also sometimes called oobleck. Uh, this is a mixture of regular corn flour and some water. So I've got the corn flour poured out into a beaker here, and I'm going to add just a little bit of water, not very much at all. Okay, just a tiny bit in there and stir it with a spoon. So. The reason that I'm adding only a very small amount at a time is if I add too much water, I will just end up with a regular liquid. And if I don't add enough, the corn flour will just clump up and make a solid instead. But part way between the two, we get this really thick mixture that acts a little bit like a solid, but also acts a little bit like a liquid, depending on what you do with it. So we're beginning to get to that stage now. I'm just going to make sure that all of the powder is combined. And I need a tiny bit more water for that. Okay, so I think we're nearly there. So as you get closer and closer to that non-Newtonian fluid stage, it gets harder and harder to mix the remaining powder into the liquid that we have. So. We're about there now. It should look a bit like a kind of milky colour. And if we stir it slowly, then it acts just like a really, really thick liquid. But if we move quickly, we can actually break it like a solid. And you can see that it, in terms of how it falls off the spoon, it doesn't really act very much like a liquid at all. Um, So what's happening here is that when you uh, interact with it quickly, when you do something sort of hard or fast to it, it will act like a solid because all of the starch molecules, which are shaped like long chains, uh, they sort of knot up together and seize up into a solid. But when you move slowly, they're allowed to slide past each other like spaghetti and that it can flow, and we see we can even just pour it, like so. But it's only when we start moving it quickly that it then acts more like a solid. So see, it can flow out across the bottom of the tray here, and we can even just move a stirring rod through it. But if we go quickly, it will break and split in half. And then the moment we stop moving it quickly, the little droplets will then sort of almost turn back into liquid again. So it's some really weird stuff. And you can try making it yourself at home. Just do the same thing that I did, whereby you add the water really slowly in small amounts and keep mixing it thoroughly in and then you can have some great fun with it. You can even juggle with it if you get it to the right consistency.